It is a flush the format Friday. Your picks absolutely all morning long as we dive into... It's Brew Therapy with the Playhouse in the morning. And watch out a little bit this morning with you, Carrie, as you're seeking some feedback from the Playhouse family. Carrie, can you roll through it for us, please? What's going on? Uh, so one of my besties is dating a guy. They've been together for like a year or something. And mm-hmm. whatever, he's fine. But the problem is they got together when he was already with someone. So like he was cheating with my girlfriend when he was dating someone else. So I yeah. kind of have always had a bad taste in my mouth for him, mm-hmm. you know? But she's my girl, so I was like, it's okay, we'll get to know each other. Until, you know, a year later, here we are, and we're at this party, and who's all up in my grill but her man? I have this sixth sense that he's, you know, definitely cheated before, and he's likely to cheat again because he's trying to with me. So what do I do? What do I tell her? All right, so you know he's got a history. Done the cheat cheat thing already, mm-hmm. uh, and now he's kind of he hit on you when he's maybe had a few to drink at a party. Do you unveil that to the friend? I would assume you would unveil that to the friend. Why wouldn't you unveil that to the friend? You would have to and just tell her, like, I don't feel comfortable being around him. And yeah. how do you keep leaving me with him? Where yeah. are you in these situations? Mm-hmm. I would say you absolutely have to tell her because this, I, I don't know, this is probably around 90% of those that cheat. I won't say all. Because there may be rare occasions where people do make actual legitimate mistakes and, and are able to change their ways. Most cheaters are a couple of things. They are incapable of actually breaking up with anyone because they don't have the stones to do it. True. And they're likely incapable of being alone. So in every one of these relationships of repeat offenders, like 90% here, they are literally trying to find the next person while they're still with Someone, which they did with your friend. I mean, he literally did yeah. it with your friend. He's not going to stop doing this. He doesn't have the stones to break up with anyone, and he doesn't have the stones to be alone. That's 90% of them. You got one right here. He's part of the 90%. Sorry you missed out on the 10. <laughs> so you just sit down and say, like, listen, I got to tell you about what happened. Like, I just got to explain to you what happened. Ball's yep. in your court, but I'm not going to hang out with this guy anymore. And if it's not you as her friend, he will find somebody else. He can't be alone, and he doesn't have the balls to break up with your friend. Yeah. Man. Yeah. I think this will be kind of one of those uh, mass consensus group therapies a little bit. But real quickly, 237, it's text 35270. What make you of it? Good morning. It's the Playhouse. Yeah, I totally think that, like, girl code, I would definitely tell my girlfriend. I'm, you know what? She might actually be pissed at me for a little bit, but then she'd sure. get over it and realize she's not worth it. Yeah, I think she'd be more mad if you just didn't say anything. Mm-hmm. They broke up someday and you're like, hey, I got to tell you about this time you hit on me at a party. Why didn't you say anything? Absolutely. Yeah, you, you better do it now because if you do wait too long, then I think that will that can cause issues as well. Mm-hmm. Was well, text club, I'm guessing, just like, yeah, Carrie, say something. Yeah, people are saying you need to say something. Someone said you should tell her, but you need to be prepared. You could lose her as a friend. This happened to me. Uh, I was friends with a woman for seven plus years, and her husband would always hit on me when they were – when we were drinking and send me inappropriate texts. I ended up showing her the text. She and her husband still together, but we don't talk anymore, and we haven't in over a year. Yeah. What you made proof. you this whole thing? Good morning. No, you can't say anything because I did once, and now uh, that couple's still together, and my friend doesn't talk to me anymore because the bearer of bad news always is the one who gets it. Like, mm-hmm. don't don't get involved. I, I, I learned from experience. Like your friend's not gonna want to hear it, so just don't say anything. I, I'd say you're the you're the lone one on that island, if I'm being honest. And if it makes you uncomfortable, you need to say something. Mm-hmm. I would. I've tried this once too, and I would say it didn't work in my experience. I'm not saying it won't, but I have tried this where you find you find out right, you know, or whatever situation, and you say, "Hey, I'm gonna give you X amount of time to tell that individual that you were stepping out of line." Yeah. You know what happens? They tell you that they talk to them. Your friend would be like, oh, yeah, we talked. But they didn't talk about that. They, he just brought up something else. <laughs> and then you find out years later they never talked about it. Hey, you ever uh, you see that new Avatar movie? Yeah, we talked. We did talk. It was wonderful. We got it figured out. We're going to go Wednesday.